All right, so in this question, what we're asked to do is figure out how far apart two boats are after a certain time um, when they're traveling. So the easiest thing we can do here is to set up a little compass plot, a little diagram to figure out what are the positions of the two boats here. So we'll start by drawing a grid, an X and Y grid, but we're going to label it north, south, west, and east. And what we've got to do is sort of plot where these two boats are. So let's just change color and we'll put boat A, because that is the first thing that we're saying we're looking at. It travels east at a speed of 12 kilometers per hour. So what I'll do is I'm just gonna put a dot here and um, just sort of remember the, um, the center of the axis is, is the zero, zero mark. And at some point, this boat A is going to be um, at some distance and we'll mark that at A and then boat B which I will put in a different color is travels southwest at a speed of 14 kilometers per hour so southwest is in between west and south so we'll put a dot right here and I'll mark that as point B so if we were looking at this as a uh, like a, sort of like a physics question what we have is we have two movements of two objects um, and that's called a displacement so from the center to a i'll put mark this in with a purple line we'll darken that in that is the direction that a travels and then boat b we're going to draw a, another line with an arrow on it and we'll stop it at b so what we're asked to find is actually the net result of how far those two boats are so we can connect the, the tips of both arrows together. So I'm gonna do it as a dashed line here in green. And that is what we're actually asked to find at this point. So the diagram is set up where two boats are moving apart from each other. And what we are looking to do is find this distance and we can call this distance X. So we need to figure out some quantities here of what we've got. And then we can apply one of the uh, the, the trigonometric laws in order to find hopefully the unknown. So the other hint we have here is that distance is equal to speed times time. So let's just write down here boat A and then boat B. Um, I'm gonna put in here distance equal, now speed, um, I usually call that rate times time. So how far or how long has boat A been traveling? Well, it says in the question after two hours, what is the distance between the two boats? So each boat is traveling for two hours simultaneously. Okay, we know how fast boat A is going. It is going at 12 kilometers per hour and boat B is traveling at 14. So that gives us the ability to actually calculate the distance. Now remember, we don't want to work on the rate by itself because the rate is speed. It's it's like how fast your car is going, like 60 or 100 kilometers per hour. It doesn't tell you how far you've gone until you put in the time factor. So boat A in two hours will have gone 24 kilometers. Boat B will have gone 28. Okay, so those are the numbers that you would put on the arrow to indicate the distance. So X is going to be a value in kilometers. Now all we have to do is figure out what is the angle between the two arrows or the two displacements? So we need to kind of think about that for just a second here. So I'm just going to break that in purple or pink, sorry. And we're going to mark that angle in there. So we need to calculate the angle between them. Angle between both boats. Okay, so there isn't much information here for that. So there's a couple of assumptions that we have to make. Um, the first part here, where A, we're looking at boat A, we know that if it's traveling east, then 90 degrees to east is going to be south. So part of the angle is going to be equal to 90 degrees. But then there's the other part that's missing, the part where the other boat is moving in the southwest direction. So southwest, um, because they don't really give a heading for it, we're just going to assume it's splitting the angle between west and south in half. So that means we're going to take that as 45 degrees. Okay, so if you think about that angle there, 
90 is the first part, east to south. And then from south going west, we're taking another 45 degrees. So our total distance for that angle, whoops, sorry about that. Our total distance for that angle is equal to 100, whoops, equal to 135 degrees. So what we just need to do is figure out how to calculate x. So how are we going to calculate x? How to find x. So if we look at this triangle that we have, this is a side angle side triangle or an SAS triangle. And what we're looking to do is find the opposites, opposite side to x. Or so, yeah, the opposite side to the 135 degrees, which is x. So this is um, the classic case for the cosine law. So we can just simply say that x squared, which is the side we're trying to find, is equal to the sum of the squares of the two legs. So that's 28 squared plus 24 squared minus two times the legs. So two times a times b, which is two times 28 times 24 times cosine of 135, 135 degrees. So if we plug all that in to our calculator and calculate everything out, we should find that x squared is equal to 2310. And we have to take the square root of both sides. So there's going to be, there could be a plus and a minus, but we're only interested in the plus because it's we're looking at a net displacement. The answer should be the square root of 2310, which should equal 48 kilometers. So that's how you do that question. Um, we set it up as a uh, x and y axis, but turn it into a compass, draw the displacement or what we call a vector or a distance for the two objects, and then we connect the two arrowheads together. And out of that, we get a triangle, and then we can apply our rules to solve for that.